You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have one of my favorite guests. I have Laverne. How are you? I'm well, Mark. Nice Thank to see you. you. Thank you for having us again. Um, we are coming into, I believe, is March Domestic Violence Awareness Month? Am no, I correct? No, that is October. Okay, it's October. But March is yeah. uh, Women's Month. Women's, Women's Month. Okay, International, right. International Women's Day is in March. Okay. So you're not far, far off. Okay. Um, but we are coming into the first Thursday of March, mm -hmm. which is always Statewide White Ribbon Day. Okay. Yes. And White Ribbon Day, I don't have one of my jackets on, but I usually know. I have one of those white ribbons on there. And men take a pledge yes. to work toward and make sure there isn't domestic violence. Correct. With women. Using their voices right. to speak out against domestic violence and no longer condone behaviors that contribute to domestic violence or violence against women. Right. And it is insanely important because 90% of the time, unfortunately, mm -hmm. men are looked upon as the perpetrators when it comes to this issue. Mm -hmm. And so having their voices in on this conversation means that much more and why the White Ribbon Day exists. Um, it started uh, back in Canada mm -hmm. when one man assaulted uh, 14 women um, and one wasn't bad enough. It had to one, be fourteen. Jeez, fourteen, okay. because they he didn't like the gender, mm -hmm. um, and so the white ribbon campaign started as as a result of that. Here in Massachusetts, it is coordinated by Jane Doe, mm -hmm. um, who oversees the um, agencies here in Massachusetts that uh, direct domestic violence uh, support, ser d rape and sexual assault mm -hmm. um, support services to individuals. So um, they run the statewide campaign here in Massachusetts. And so we as Love Life Now Foundation wanted to sort of chime in and see how we could add more white ribbon ambassadors um, mm -hmm. to become part of the conversation and ending violence against women. So your group is doing an event. The White Ribbon Night Gala. Okay. It is the seventh year for the event, mm -hmm. and it's coming up um, soon. Okay. <laughs> and we are very, very excited about it because this year we are, and it's, this is something that we, could, we typically tend to do, is honor uh, a man in the community that is using their voice on a day-to-day -day basis to advocate for no more violence against women. And that man this year is Michael Weeks. Okay. He is uh, with the CEO of the Providers Council and has sat on the chair, uh, on, sat on the board for the local uh, white ribbon camp, the statewide white ribbon campaign here in Massachusetts. So we are very excited. This is something that he's used his voice for for many, many, many years. Um, and we are just honored to, to be able to, to spotlight him and the work that he's doing. We also have have a great lineup of entertainment that night. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a surprise, so I'm very We're not excited. Talk about for, the entertainment. We're not going to talk about but the you entertainment. Said soon, we do have a date. Though. Soon, yes, it, it's actually February 22nd. Okay. At 7:30. I there's saw gonna be Facebook. a yes, yeah. yes. So there's going to be a silent auction, a very, very elaborate silent auction. This year we have a planning committee that instituted that, and so we're very excited about introducing that. And we also have the men taking the pledge that night. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, Dr. Thomas Haller, who is flying in from Michigan, to and he wrote a book book recently called "Dissolving Toxic Masculinity," masculinity, mm -hmm. which is what this topic surrounds, right? Um, and so he's going to come and talk about the ways that he's using his voice as well um, to advocate for no more violence against women. So again, a, a pretty robust lineup um, that we're very excited to, to, to put on. And you usually do that, is it Granite Links in Quincy? Right, so this okay. year, once again, it's going to be at Granite Links in Quincy, 7.30. Um, there's going to be a seated dinner, as I mentioned, live uh, silent auction, 50-50 um, raffle, who mm -hmm. doesn't love that? Right. Um, and, a, and again, a great lineup delivering a message of asking more men in the room to stand up and use their voices. And then at the end of the night, one of the most poignant parts of the program is having all the men in the room come up to the front and take the White Ribbon Day Pledge, right. which in part says, from this day forward, I will no longer condone violence against women. And it sounds simple, Mark, right. but to, for the women in the room, they're, you know, they're survivors, they're, they're vic current victims, mm -hmm. they're people that are just enamored with the fact that these brave men are standing up and saying no more. 
And, you know, we just need more of that. So as much as we can encourage that behavior, we're all for it. And the idea is that they'll take this message with them back to their communities, their sons, their cousins, mm -hmm. that at the barbershop, right, right. where the, the conversations happen, everyday workplace activities, and, and bring the message back to their colleagues about how they are standing up and how others can do the same. Do they get to sign too? You they usually don't have a get banner. To you used sign. to have a banner. I used there, there to have used a to be, banner. Yes. There, there used to be more of these events. Yes, I think you're this is the true. only event that I know of yeah. in the area coming up. They were doing it at Massasoit when they yes. had the Massasoit Conference Center. Correct. I know there was another group that was doing something. Family with and Community Resources did do it um, right. a couple right. of years in a row. Right. They also had the banner right. that folks signed. But that's something I think we're going to re-implement, I think, yeah. Mark. And I then think there was a Purple Tie event at some point. Purple Tie event. I'm not Which, sure, maybe Stonehill. I know our board president over here, Joe Miranda, was yeah. one of the, he's a police officer and he ah, was one of the purple ties. The purple ties. So we got three minutes left. Yes. What do you want to get across? First of all, to get information for this, Correct. how do people find out? You can find us on Facebook, Love Life Now Foundation, and click on events. You can go to our website, www.lovelifenow.org. O -R -G, mm -hmm. uh, or you can contact me at 617-803-8357. Um, our lines are always open, not just for events like this, but to talk to survivors, to talk to victims. This if you issue, need help. If you need help, this issue affects one in every four women, one in every three teens. This February happens to be Teen Dating Awareness Month. Right. Right. So we try to uh, highlight the idea that... Uh, it goes way beyond adults, right, that you think this issue affects. And so as early as we can target uh, teens that are in, involved in relationships, mm -hmm. that are maybe seeing from their parents maybe or their peers what relationships look like. Checking their cell phones. Checking your cell who phone. Who they talk to. Who you're talking to, what you're wearing. Right. Just that whole possessiveness. I mean, the whole isolation. So all of these behaviors we want to point out are not normal. And, and try to show them what normal can look like. Right. Right? Because it may not be what they're seeing at home or in their schools or around where they live. Right. So um, Teen Dating Awareness Month, that's what it's all about. And um, as I mentioned, March is... Um, Women's International Month. And then April, I want to point out that yeah. we have an event coming up uh, called the High Tea, Mo the Mother Daughter High Tea Financial Planning uh, Awareness Event. We're going to bring you back for that one. We're, absolutely. So you got a, I can't you got an wait. April date? April 7th. Okay. So gonna, save the date. We'll, we'll get you back. We'll yes. save it and we'll help you promote it. Yes, and just thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. Um, you're all over the place. I see you. You, you look like a star of stage screen and TV. Oh, man. Okay. It's, it's, but it's, you're, you're a it's getting the word out. You're a star because you help people. Nah, I mean. Okay. So they're the real stars for seeking help. Exactly. Because it's hard to do that, right? Thanks for being here. No, I appreciate you having us all I'd the time. I'd give you a hug if we weren't too wired. <laughs> okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.